Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial that I'm going to show you of something new that I've discovered. So, for those of you who have Camtasia Studio version 6 or 7 or 8, just Camtasia Studio in general, you may notice this. It does support GIF files, but it only puts them in as a picture. So that when you insert it in there, it's a still image, meaning it doesn't really move or anything like that. But! I have found a way to work around it using Camtasia's tools, which I'm going to show you in this video. And how you're going to do it actually is this. First of all, you want to get like a uh, GIF image from the web, just like any kind and all. Make sure you save it as a GIF format, obviously, and put it into something that plays GIFs. For instance, Microsoft PowerPoint. As you can see here, this is pretty much just Green Hill Zone. I'm going to be using Sonic the Hedgehog as an example in this. Where what I would do is this. So you put it in like the slideshow kind of thing. You adjust it to like, you know, whatever size you want to or anything. Just mainly keep it in its original resolution though for better quality purposes. And what I would do there is if I click on this, it just plays the GIF normally in things. Where it basically plays it. That means that I can easily just do this. I would grab Camtasia Recorder 8, the screen recording software, and just film this. So just like set it up to whatever ratio it is and that, and just film it from there. Just film it as a camera video, make it into that, just make it into a video instead. But, there's also a way to do it with PNG ones as well. And when I say PNG, I mean like ones with transparent backgrounds. As this is just a video, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So if I just come out of here and that, and get rid of this one, you'll see that there is Sonic the Hedgehog. Originally, what this was was that. Pretty much this just has a transparent background and um, of course when you put it into Camtasia it just puts it in as an image. So instead what I would do is look at all the colours on here and just see which one of them there aren't. So as you can see I have just put in a green background by going to the format option that so that when it plays it just shows Sonic running with a green background. So from there I have made them into video files now for me to play around with and things. But then going into Camtasia Studio, you'll see that they're up here. So that way, if I just add this one to it, which is just the uh, Camac file, and crop it because you don't really need to see that. <laughs> There's a cropping tool, by the way, in here. It's that bit up there, just below those of you who are aware, is you can crop videos, which is very useful. And if I just stretch this to, I don't know, let's just say this resolution. So that that way, if I just get rid of the audio here, it just plays the video. Oh wait, no, sorry. <laughs> of course, when you put it in, make sure you cut out the bit where it moves. There we go. It's moving now, and there goes my cursor. So let's just start it from here then. I'm just going to split that and put that in like this. So that now we have a moving video, which is a GIF and all that. So you don't necessarily have to put them in as proper GIFs or find the other software as there are ways to work around it. But to put in a transparent one, instead of just a video or something, what I would do is, as usual, grab this, put it in here, and because of the thing that I used where I changed the colour of the background and filmed it instead, because originally it was white, but, you know, there's white on his eye and that, so that wouldn't really work. I would then go to Visual Properties and use this tool called Remove a Color. What that will do is, if I click onto it, I need to select the color and then click here. So that, as you can see, it gets rid of it. That way, it's pretty much just <laughs> a file that plays without the green. Therefore, if I just click play, but I'm probably going to have to crop it again, aren't I? So when does Sonic actually move? He moves there. So let's just say he moves from here. Let me just crop all this. Okay, maybe not crop, but split. <laughs> I don't know, I'm recording this live. I say weird things, even in my Let's Plays as well. So if I just play it from here, you will see that he runs around like this. Therefore, you are able to put in GIFs and all. You just have to film them in a different colour and that. So that way, when you use the Remove a Colour tool, you can actually just put them in normally in things. An ideal thing, if you ask me, because that way you can just add any colour, remove a colour, and that's it you got your transparent GIF. You just need to look at the image and see which colour doesn't appear, put that in as just a solid colour, get rid of it, and there's your GIF. 
In fact, with this, <laughs> I can also like resize them and stuff. Okay, let's see now. So if I just put him here, and let's just play this just because I want to. Okay, ready? There we go. Look at that. <laughs> you know what? I could even export that as a GIF, actually. <laughs> but um, should I do that? Nah. I'll probably save that for another video or something. It depends, as I don't really update the tutorial section a lot, as my channel mainly focuses on Let's Plays, but it's fun to do something different every now and then, and he's disappeared, whoops. <laughs> but yeah, this is how you do GIFs. So you film it in a something that plays GIFs, like Microsoft PowerPoint or something, go on the slideshow, or just however you know you'd view the GIF, film it with your screen recorder, and just do it from there. And if it's a transparent one, just film it with a different color. Get rid of it, and there you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite cool finding this out. So it is possible to get GIFs in Camtasia Studio that you just have to find a way to work around it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I stutter a lot on this, I know. <laughs> and I hope it came in handy. <laughs>